This is Joseph Trust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how can I make a texture map with an alpha using fiber mesh? So to start off here, I just have an example of what we're looking to do here. So I have a texture here that was generated using fiber mesh, and I want to generate a render like this, and then also generate a corresponding alpha map. So how can I go by doing this inside of ZBrush? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I just have the plain 3D object selected here. And I want to take this plain 3D object and now convert it to a poly mesh. So I'm going to go to the tool palette up here and simply click Make Poly Mesh 3D. Now after this has been turned into a poly mesh, I want to come through and apply some masking to this model here to use with fiber mesh. So I'm going to hold down Control and then drag off on the canvas here to get my masking box. Then I'm going to press and hold the space bar, which is going to allow me to move this. And I'm just going to mask out a portion of this box here. So something like that. And then I'm just going to release. Now that I have this plain 3D here with this masking applied, I can now apply fiber mesh to this masked area. So I'm going to navigate underneath the tool palette over here and open up the fiber mesh tab. And then you just can simply click on preview. Now after you click on preview here, you should see fiber mesh appear on your screen. You can open up this modifiers tab here and adjust these fibers to your liking. Now I already have a preset created for this video, so I'm going to navigate to this Lightbox to Fibers button here and click that to open up Lightbox. And then I'm just going to double click on my preset I created. So after this is clicked on, you should see it should load in here. And now I can hit comma on my keyboard to close that. And now I'm left with something like this. So I have those fibers coming from that masked area, and they're generating this kind of effect. So I'm getting this kind of hair card look coming to my plane here. Now that I have my fibers to my liking, I want to come through now and create some texture maps for this so I can use it as hair cards on other models. So to do this, we first just need to accept our fiber mesh here and turn it into its own subtool. So under the fiber mesh tab here, I'm just going to hit accept. And if we open our subtool palette now, you'll see I'll have that plain 3D object there, and then I have my fibers. Now, these fibers are still in preview mode, so if you come up to the BPR button here and click, it'll render them out, and this is going to soften them up and make them look a little more interesting than they were as their polygonal states. So now that I have these created, I just need to generate my texture map. So I'm first going to go to my document tab up here, and I'm going to change my width and height to a standard texture resolution, so something like 2048 by 2048. So I'm going to disable Pro, I'm going to change my width to 2048, and hit Enter, and then change my height to 2048, and hit Enter, and then click Resize. Now this is going to pop up a little dialog asking you if you want to resize, we're just going to click Yes on that. And after this, you'll notice that the plane here has been dropped to 2.5D. So I need to hit Control plus N on my keyboard, which will clear that out. And then I just simply need to redraw my model again, and then hit T, or go to the Edit Mode button up here to go back into Edit Mode. So now that I have my canvas set up to that resolution, I now just need to use this plane 3D object frame to that canvas. So I'm going to navigate over here under this BPR button here to this Zoom area, and just zoom out. And you want to zoom out until you get the extents of your canvas visible on screen. Now after you have your canvas looking like this, go back to that plain 3D, and now simply click Frame. This is going to take that plain 3D, and since it is a square format, and my canvas is a square format, it should bump it up exactly to the edges. So if you had tiling hair or something like that, this is a way to frame everything in your scene to that specific size. After you're happy with this, we're just going to go back to my fibers here, and I'm going to select them, and then I'm just going to turn off that plain 3D. So now I just have the fibers here in this 2048 by 2048 canvas. So now, if you're happy with this, we just need to now do a BPR render. So after this BPR render is finished, if we navigate here to the render palette here and open up BPR render pass, you'll see you have a series of maps that have been created. So here we have our shaded map, and then we also have our alpha map. So if we want to export these out, just come through and click on this. So I'm going to click out the color shaded version by just simply clicking. This is going to open up a window here, and I'm just going to click Save to that. And then we do the same process again. So back to that render tab up there, go to the mask and click, and then simply hit Save. 
So after you have this completed, you should now have each of these images as their own PSD files in this folder. So you can take these and merge them together to create a texture map with an alpha. So if you have any other additional questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.